What are mutually exclusive events in probability theory? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. And here is our straightforward definition. Two events are mutually exclusive if their intersection is empty. And remember that if the intersection of two sets is empty, we say that the sets are disjoint. In less mathematical words, two events are mutually exclusive if they can't both occur simultaneously. So for example, let's say we are rolling a standard six-sided die. And let's say that event A is the event that we roll an even number. So 2, 4, or 6. Whoops, let me rewrite that bracket. 2, 4, or 6. And then let's say that event B is the event that we roll an odd number, so 1, 3, or 5. Are these two events, A and B, mutually exclusive? Well, remember the definition. Two events are mutually exclusive if their intersection is empty. So what is the intersection of these two events, A intersect B? A intersect B is the set containing all elements that are common to both A and B. They have no common elements, so their intersection is the empty set. Therefore, since their intersection is empty, A and B are mutually exclusive events. And what does this look like in a diagram? Well, suppose this black rectangle is our sample space. We'll label it S. Mutually exclusive events have no intersection. So this would be event A and this would be event B. This is what the diagram of two mutually exclusive events look like. They have no intersection. Oftentimes, we don't know if two events are mutually exclusive, so we would draw the diagram like this. This drawing leaves open the possibility that the events have some intersection, but if they are mutually exclusive, they don't have any overlap, so we can completely separate them. Now, what does this mean as far as probability goes? For example, if A and B are mutually exclusive events, what's the probability of A or B occurring? Well, remember, that's just another way of writing the probability of A union B. A union B just contains all the elements of A and all the elements of B. So to find the probability of something in A or B occurring, we just have to add their individual probabilities, the probability of A plus the probability of B. So if A and B are mutually exclusive events, this is the probability of A union B. It's the sum of their individual probabilities. For example, looking back up here, what is the probability of A union B? A is the event that the dice roll is even. That is a probability of one half. So that is our probability of A. Then we need to add the probability of B. What's the probability of B? Well, it's the probability that we roll an odd number, which is also one half. So in this case, the probability of A union B is equal to one. And that should make sense because when we roll a die, of course, we're either going to roll an even number or an odd number. So the probability that we roll an even or odd number is one. And then moving this down a little bit, just to give us room to talk about one other thing. For mutually exclusive events A and B, what is the probability of A and B occurring? And remember that this is the probability of the intersection of the two events. Well, by definition of mutually exclusive events, their intersection is empty. So when we look in our sample space, we see that there is no possible outcome that is both in A and B. So by definition of mutually exclusive events, the probability of A and B occurring is equal to zero. So hopefully that seems pretty intuitive and makes perfect sense. This calculation here is a special example of what's often called the multiplication rule. And then this example down here is a special example of what's often called the addition rule. More specifically, it's the addition rule of probability and the multiplication rule of probability. But anyways, it's pretty straightforward. That's what mutually exclusive events are. Two events are mutually exclusive if their intersection is empty, which means they can't both occur simultaneously.
Here are two more examples of mutually exclusive events. The events flipping heads on a coin and flipping tails on a coin are mutually exclusive. They can't both occur in one coin flip. And if a student is taking an exam, the event that he passes the exam and the event that he fails the exam are mutually exclusive. They can't both occur. And that's really all there is to it. I encourage you to give me some examples of mutually exclusive events down in the comments. Be creative, have some fun with it. So I hope this video helped you understand what mutually exclusive events are in probability theory. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.